American Heritage Girls Troop 0019. I am so excited about this week. The fact that we are honoring all week long with American Heritage Girls, we are honoring the Miracle Heroes. How exciting that we all get to come together and pray together. There is such power in prayers of agreements. But I'm also excited because we've been on this journey since March 15th together. We were actually before that because we went straight to the nursing homes as soon as they closed the nursing homes and started blessing them with cards and prayers and books and all sorts of fun creative things. So I just wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart for joining us and flooding the nursing homes and the fire stations and the hospitals with God's word and his love and cards of encouragement for everyone on the front lines. So I just also want to share some creative ways we have been getting into hospitals through uh, staying in our car and praying and doing Waymaker parades and cheering with banners as we drive by with Fish Radio Station and many others, fire stations, I mean, fire uh, men and police men and uh, women, and it's been an honor and a great delight. And singing and worshiping to Waymaker at seven o'clock and praying together. So this Friday, this past Friday, we went into Hogue Newport and gave them over 500 cards and banners and um, food, burritos, 30 burritos, water from Rouse, a gift card from their favorite pizza place, La Ventina's. And we got to uh, give them 200 free burrito cards from Miguel's Juniors in Costa Mesa. So it was such a blessing and great delight to have our troop represent and have Trail Life represent and schools like Stony Brook and ILA. So I just wanted to thank all the people that were in this with us together. It was such a blessing. And we're about to do greater things in him. Amen. So as we come together and pray, I wanted to encourage you some creative ways that the Lord's let me to pray. From the first time we went into Mission Hospital, I received, um, actually Saddleback was our first hospital and I received uh, people's names to pray for that were inside the hospital. So the Lord led me to pray through voice recording and text though, since we can't be close up close with one another in the season or we can't go in the hospital, but we could text inside the hospital. We could YouTube videos, which was the next thing the Lord led me to do were YouTube videos and take communion. So I did that faithfully. And today, as I was praying for someone, the Lord said, anoint them. And um, I just be obedient and just find the scriptures to back it up. Because God says, my sheep hear my voice in John 10, 27. So I honor him and I back it up with and confirm it with scripture. So the anointing oil I have is the Rose of Sharon and from Jerusalem. And it says, is any among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let him pray for him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. God forgives, amen, and he heals. And that's in James 5, 14 through 15. So what I did was I took communion, I prayed. I'm gonna use Josiah, for example, because he was the one that the Lord started me with anointing oil. So I just put it on a piece of paper and anointed it with oil. And when I was praying over cards that went into the hospital and nursing homes, I knew of the scriptures um, to stand on, but I wanted to say them with you as well. So we're going to look at Acts 19, 11, or let's actually start with Jesus. Jesus gave us the greatest example in Mark 5, verse 40, 34, sorry, 5, verse 34, because the woman with the issue of blood, she didn't do anything but touch his garment. She didn't go and ask him for prayer. She didn't say, can you heal me? She just knew who he was and touched his garment. So just the touching of his garment, she was healed and made whole because that power released from him. Well, that same power 
that rose him from the dead lives and dwells inside of us, this resurrection dunamis power. So when we lay hands on a card, we do it in the name of Jesus, not in our own authority, but in Jesus. So we lay hands on the cards and pray in the authority Jesus has given us. As it says in Isaiah 22, 22, Matthew 16, 19, Luke 10, 19, and Revelation 3, 7. So we stand on those verses. Now, when it says in Mark 5, verse 34, Daughter, thy faith has made you whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. So that plague left because of the faith. So... And there's verses that say it's impossible to please God without faith. The just shall live by faith. So we're doing this by faith, just like Abraham did. When Abraham was Abraham, geez, God called him a father of many nations. He didn't even have a child, and he called him a father of many nations. So he walked by faith by living that out. And we see that manifested today. Thank you, Lord. So, uh, and you speak those things that be not as though they were. So you, that's what Jesus did when he called the little girl asleep versus uh, dead like everyone else. And they laughed at him, but he spoke those things that be not as though they were. So let's look at um, Acts 19.12. So Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans. In, Ma in Acts 19 verse 12, it says, so that from his body, well, let's start with 11. And God wrote special miracles by the hands of Paul. So by the hands of Paul, God brought many miracles. I ask, Lord, you do that for all of us. Because it says in John 14, 12, that we're able to do greater works than Jesus did. So we'll turn to that shortly. But it says, so that from his body, verse 12, were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs and aprons. So what we have been doing are the cards, and I've been doing the names. This is Bryn, another person we've been praying for. I've got uh, Mrs. Debbie Smith, Mrs. Smith, a teacher at Stony Brook. Wendy, a mom at ILA. Kelly, a dear friend. I have Megan. I have Kaylin, a new mom. And I have Freya that just left the hospital. We're praying for her skin. So, and then you have, we have Josiah. And so we're praying over them. We, and I prayed in agreement with family members where they're at with communion. So it says, so that from his body were brought unto him sick handkerchiefs or aprons and the diseases departed from them and the evil spirits went out of them. Fear is an evil spirit. It says in 2 Timothy, let's look at 2 Timothy 1, 2 Timothy, let's see, oh, is it 1 Timothy 1, 7? God did not give us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power and love and a sound mind. 1 Timothy, is it 2 Timothy? I apologize. I know this one by heart. We say it all the time. There it is. Yeah, 2 Timothy 1, 7. I apologize. For God hath not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. So fear is a spirit. So we cast that out in the name of Jesus. So another scripture, because I asked all of our troop to find three scriptures to stand on. So I've got more than three because I love God's word, but I just wanted you to start. It's good to have a starting point. Okay. That's the minimum three. That's all you need to do. But if you get more, God bless you. More power and more word. Okay. So Matthew, we're going to turn to Matthew 10, Matthew 10 verse eight, another scripture. All right. So on Matthew 10 verse eight, I'm going to actually read a few verses. I see them highlighted and I get excited. I apologize. So verse 1, 10 verse 1. And when he had called on to him, his 12 disciples, he gave them power. Woo! He gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out. Amen? And to heal all manner of sickness. 
and all manner of disease. Isn't that something to just celebrate about? Thank you, Jesus, that he has given us. We are his disciples. We follow his word. We follow him faithfully. So we're his disciples as well. So the verse that I wanted to target was verse eight. It says, heal, Jesus says this, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely you have been given, freely you have received, freely give. So we give God's word. We pray over these cards, communion, anoint them with oil and decree and declare over them daily. I encourage the family members to do this as well. And I pray this blesses you and encourage you to stand firm in faith. God's word does not return void. He watches over his word to perform it. And in fact, he is called Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. So I want to end with that verse, Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals, which is it, I've got my names of God book and so I have it highlighted for you and it's the Lord who heals so we're on the Lord who heals and it says in Matthew I mean Exodus fifteen twenty six. if you diligently heed the voice of the Lord that goes back to our troop Joshua 1 9 or Joshua 1 8 and 9 that's what our troop number is Joshua 1 9 right so if you diligently heed the voice of your God and do what is right in his sight, give ear to his commandments and keep all his statues, I will put none of the diseases on you which I have brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord God who heals. Exodus 15, 26. What a powerful verse to end because as we go into communion, that verse was what caught the Passover. It passed over them. They, they, um, we have Jesus, who's the lamb that was slain for us. So worthy is the lamb that was slain for us. So we're going to do communion and pray over all these cards. And then I will anoint them and put them in my prayer book. And I encourage you to do the same for your friends and family. So we're going to do go to Luke 22 and do this for remembrance of the finished work of Jesus. Amen. So Matthew, Mark, Luke 22, Luke 22. And my family does this in the evening. Um, I would love to do it at 7 o'clock because Waymaker plays at 7 o'clock. Hospital nurses tend to change shifts at 7 o'clock. So it's a wonderful time to just be a reminder. Take a pause at 7 o'clock every day. Play on Alexa or your sound system. Waymaker through the Fish 95.9. They've done a lot of great things for the community in prayer and bringing people together. So we're all in this together and our goal is to speak joy. So you can hashtag, look up the hashtag speak joy and you can see some of the things American Heritage Troop 0019 is doing and has been doing faithfully. Also Angie Castro 333 is my um, handle on Instagram or Angela Bennett Castro. You can look it up and see the great things we've been doing for the community. So we're going to do the Passover. We got, I've got my bread here. And I'm just going to use, even though I'm going to pray again with the family, the medical professionals. I put it on a card and a little heart. And I'm going to do this in remembrance of Jesus, the finished work, what he did for them. So dearly, Father, we praise you. Thank you, Father God, that your body that was broken for us. As it says in Luke 22, we do this in remembrance of you. We thank you, Jesus, for all that you've done. I thank you, Lord, that you've forgiven our sins, that we humble ourselves and seek your face, as it says in 2 Chronicles 7, 14. Thank you for forgiving us all. Thank you for forgiving our uh, country and forgiving the uh, cause of this, O oh Lord. We forgive them and we pray for them, O oh Lord. Open their eyes to see the truth and to, and to heed your voice and stop their evil, wicked ways. Dearly, Father, we thank you, Lord. The angels are camped around our medical professionals. I plead the blood of the Lamb of them, and I, I thank you, Father God, for your finished work. A hedge of protections, as it says in Psalms 91, 11, angels encamp around them, keeping them safe at all times. And I thank you, Father God. I do this in all the names that I have written out. I do this in honor of Josiah, emotional, uh, mental and emotional, spiritual, which was AHG's day one prayer. I do this for Debbie Smith. I do this for Bryn. I do this for Kelly, Freya, Kaylin, Megan, Wendy, and um, all of you. In the name of Jesus, we do this in agreement. 
for all that you've done for us, Jesus. We love you and magnify your holy name, our healer, our redeemer, our savior, wonderful, mighty counselor, and prince of peace. I pray peace over you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus, for your finished work, the blood. This is just grape juice and that was just bread. But we do this in remembrance of him, all that he did. He shed his blood for us. Thank you, Jesus, that you are the worthy is the lamb. Holy, holy, holy is the lamb that was slain for us. Thank you, Jesus, for the finished work of the cross. We love you. We honor you. We do this in remembrance of all that you've done. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Jesus. We praise and magnify his name. We glorify the Lord who is worthy to be praised. It is in him and him alone that we're able to walk in divine health and speak out for it's by his stripes we were healed. As it says in 2 Peter 2.24, or 1 Peter, I apologize, 1 Peter 2.24, Isaiah 53, 4-5. Thank you, Jesus, for your finished work. We love you. We magnify your holy name. And I love you and thank you for doing the prayer week together with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.